Okay, so we are going to first take a look at the photoelectric effect. So the photoelectric effect, as we now understand it, is the ability for light of high frequency, so ultraviolet and um, higher frequency than that, to liberate electrons from a metal surface. And this has a couple of interesting properties of, of the way it um, behaves that really led people towards quantum mechanics. And so it's worth pausing and just appreciating for a little bit and we'll try to make it happen. I've spent a good part of last week trying to figure out a way to make it work from crap in my recycle bin. And I succeeded, hopefully. We're gonna try a demo tonight and I hope it works. Um, so here goes. So the apparatus that I built, as you can see, is made out of a empty jar of peanut butter and um, some wire and an L bracket that happens to be made out of zinc, which is really nice for this. And inside the wire passes through the lid of the jar and inside are two sheets of aluminum foil. They're a couple centimeters across and they are dangling from the wire. I've made like a little uh, coat hanger kind of shape at the bottom and I've, I've just dangled uh, these pieces of aluminum foil below. And these pieces of aluminum foil serve as an electroscope. When the two pieces of foil get charged, they repel each other. And because of that, they're going to uh, try to move away from each other. And um, this is balanced by the force of gravity, which is trying to hang them down. And so they will go at an angle. So the easiest way to demonstrate and just sort of show this is to let's get some electricity. Now at home, um, if you want a source of electricity, honestly, the best thing in the world is a balloon and your hair. Um, so I'm gonna just get a little bit of charge here. So by rubbing the balloon on my hair, uh, the balloon is actually, uh, has a higher affinity for electrons than my hair does. And so I've negatively charged the balloon. The balloon is also a, a pretty good insulator. And so now that it's got these electrons, it actually doesn't let them go away very easily. So we've got basically a, a, a means to holding a negative charge fixed. And if I put this close to this little L bracket, well, we're not getting a good dangle here, which means I need to get a little more charge. Let's see if I can. Okay, here we go. Okay, I definitely can feel it on my hair. Let's see if we can do this now. Oh, I've got the papers coming. So this is how an electroscope works. And you can buy fancy ones. Maybe I'll turn this a wee bit. So I actually have not touched the balloon to this conducting plate. I haven't. And all that's happening is this negatively charged balloon is producing an electric field, which, put, which attracts positive charge to the plate and negative charge to the foils. So the foils become negatively charged. They push each other away. The plate has become positively charged. But when I take the balloon away, everything becomes neutral again, and everybody's, everybody's cool. So now the question is, how do we get charge into the electroscope so it stays there. And we can do a, a procedure called in electrostatic induction. So I'm gonna take some negative charge. I'm gonna put it close to the plate. <laughs> I'm gonna try this paper getting attracted. Uh, so I'm gonna get the, the close to the, the plate and I'm just gonna tap the wire. And now this has allowed negative charge to escape the electroscope so that when I remove the balloon, the whole thing is net positive and the foils stay in place. And if I ground it, they go back to where they were. So let's see if I can, let's repeat the procedure. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a good positive charge on the electroscope and it holds the charge. And now I ground it and it's neutral again. Okay, so that's how the electroscope works. Now for this, the whole rest of this demo, it's really important if anything isn't clear to just shout out questions. Um, do not be shy. I would rather talk through everything that I've done here than have it whiz by and, and it not make sense. 
So in terms of how the electroscope operates and how we inductively charged it, any questions? Okay, people seem all right. Now, what I would like to do for this photoelectric effect demonstration is I would like to actually negatively charge it, which is the opposite of what we've done so far. And then I would like to use an ultraviolet light to dislodge the electrons we put on the scope and have the light neutralize the electroscope. So for this, we're gonna need ultraviolet light and actually we need fairly intense ultraviolet light. We actually need UVC. So ultraviolet itself is a, is a spectrum and we actually need the, the high end of the ultraviolet spectrum. UVC light is not good for you and it's not good for your eyes. So this is why I'm gonna put on my, my sunglasses as my safety protection because I'd prefer not to illuminate my, my, um, my corneas with this. But I'm gonna basically take an ultraviolet lamp. Now this was sold to me on uh, Amazon for I think $25 and it's marketed basically as a home disinfectant. So let's say you go to the grocery store and you're worried that the boxes of whatever pasta has COVID on it, you could basically put this in a cabinet, hang the light from the top of the cabinet. You close the cabinet, turn on the light and you would um, kill all the, the SARS COVID-2 virus. Um, we're gonna use it as a good source of ultraviolet photons for this photoelectric effect. Okay, so now we can um, use the light, we can put it on the plate, we can discharge electrons. The next step before we can do this is we actually have to get some negative charge onto the electroscope. Now the balloon has negative charge on it. The problem is the balloon is a very good insulator and it's hard to get the negative charge from the balloon onto the, the plate of the electroscope. It's I, tried and experimented a lot of different ways and I'm actually not convinced there's an easy way to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a double inductive transfer. So up till now we've used inductive transfer to get the negative charge to induce a positive charge here that sticks. Well, now we're gonna do that twice. So I'm gonna first get some negative charge in the balloon. I have now created this device, which is a pie plate, which has been uh, ins with an insulating uh, connection to just a stick. So this is a big piece of metal. I'm going to go negative charge to the balloon to put positive charge on this plate. Then I'm going to use positive charge on this plate to induce negative charge on the electroscope that we can then discharge with the photoelectric effect. Any questions about this plan? So like, just to be clear, like when, when you like put like, n or positive charge on the plate you're it's just like the negative charge on the balloon is like repelling all the negative charge then it's like let's it, do it yeah so so i'm gonna i'm gonna make the plate polarized but then i'm gonna touch the plate while it's in close proximity to the balloon to allow the electrons to be pushed off the plate leaving a net positive charge okay so i've got the plate I've got it very close to the balloon and I'm going to touch the back side of it and get a good, good shock. I think you heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is positive and we should get a good induction on the electroscope and get a second shock. We've got negative charge on the scope, which now we can discharge with the light. That's the photoelectric effect. Now, one thing I've noticed is that I'm not, quite happy with how quick that was. And I think a little bit of an oxide layer has built up on the zinc. So really to get a good uh, performance on this device, it's good to when you do it is to just take a little sandpaper, expose some of the bare metal. So let's try it again with a with a fresh with a fresh uh, freshly scoured surface. Okay, nice negative charge on that balloon. Get the plate nice and close, touch the backside. I don't think I got a very good shock that one. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it did, okay. And now it should be much quicker with a freshly scoured. 
Yeah, right away. Okay, but you might say, all right, this doesn't prove anything. If it's really the photoelectric effect, um, it should not be able to dislodge positive charges. Photoelectric effect dislodge, discharges electrons. It should not knock positive ions off of the plate. So let's give that a try. So again, I'm going to charge up. I'm going to hold close to the electroscope, going to ground it. I've got a nice positive charge. And now if I use the light, it holds charge. So the photoelectric effect really works in one direction, in one direction only. 